All right, guys, I figured we'd start today by getting the WS2812Bs soldered and ready. So I'm just going to separate them. And we need to make sure we have everything in the right direction. And then what I'm going to do to hold them in place while I solder them is just use a tiny drop of hot glue. which should work just fine. This should hold them yeah, see that one was too tiny of a drop and it cooled before it got a chance to uh, to stick. <laughs> Maybe I should have put the uh, The ruler in the oven for a few minutes. So I'm going to keep snapping these off here. And I'm putting them on the numbers just because it gives me a, a good idea of where I'm at and what I'm doing. And my hope is that once I get these all nice and soldered up, that they come off of here quite easily. But I'm not going to make you watch me glue the rest of these, so I'll be back all when right. they're done being glued. I've got them all glued up here. Got my solder, which is 032 diameter 6040 resin core. And the bus wire that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to start by skipping the input for now and I'm going to solder straight bus wire across the 5 volt and then straight bus wire across the ground and then we'll do the datas. Alright I'm going to start by tinning these pads and yes I am using the uh, Zenny 937D, cheapest Chinese soldering station I could find, and I'll tell you, I like it. It's a little bit of solder on the tip of the iron for thermal transfer. And then we have the pads pre-tinned. Because as I learned over 20 years ago in the U.S. United States Navy, solder flows where solder's been, so it's always good to tin. All right, I'm going to tin the rest of these, and then we'll be back for the solder. All right, everything has been tinned. I've got my bus wire here. And if all goes well... I'm doing this left-handed, so that's why it looks a little sloppy there. Ah. Pulled the hot glue off. A little more solder for the tip of my iron. There we go. And 
and we will just move on down the line. All right, I'm not going to make you watch me do this whole thing. I'll be back when this is done. All right, 45 minutes or so later, everything is soldered up. And I used the uh, Zenny 937D soldering station. I just want you guys to see. I mean, I've been using this thing daily. And the tip is still in good shape, which is uh, impressive. If you've only got 30 bucks to spend and you need a decent soldering station, I highly recommend it. It's uh, really nice. Anyway, everything is hooked up here and ready. We've got a Nano here. Uh, the data is hooked up to pin D6. It's using this uh, separate power supply here, regulated five volt. There is a uh, 47 microfarad capacitor on here. I know Adafruit recommends a thousand microfarad, but I just don't have one. So we make do with what we got. And without further ado, power up. And everything is working. So all this left now is to write a sketch. But I've kept you fine people long enough for today, so we'll save the sketch for next time and put it all together and give those poor little fishies some light. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know, I could use a thumbs up. It really helps. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.